Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's makeup look, I filmed this classic black smoky eye. I know a lot of you guys are afraid of black smoky eyes. I was afraid myself until I got the technique and then, you know, just really worked at blending and building it. You can start this off with dark browns as well. You don't have to go in with black. Um, and then like, you know, get the technique right, get the blending right and all that and then start working your way up to black um, I know I never used to wear black smoky eyes or like if I used to wear them I'm always scared of them because I never like understood the blending process of it And it always just used to look like really weird um, So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and learn something I hope you guys pick up the technique on how to create this black smoky eye um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel I don't know what you guys are doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications So you guys never miss another upload. I'm sorry I don't talk too much in this video because I am stuffy I have like I have a really bad cold and I think it's like just it's going around this virus this cold I don't know what's going on both my kids are sick. I'm sick. My dad's sick. My sister's sick My, my in-laws are sick. So it's like it's like I think everybody's just catching it and just you know is getting sick so um yeah i don't talk too much but excuse if i am stuffy and like you know i'm sniffling and all that stuff i am i'm getting over a really bad cold i am still sick um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this beautiful classic smoky eye and if you guys want to see how to create this beautiful look then just keep on watching so i'm going to be starting off with priming my lids i'm using the Too faced born this way concealer as always you guys already know and i'm going to go ahead and blend this out with my finger i'm actually just going to take like a a brush because you guys I still cannot function with these nails okay so I'm just going to and I'm going to work that in my inner corner as well because again this is going to be a very dark and smoky makeup look and you guys I finally have clean brushes like I stayed up till 2 o'clock last night washing all of my goddamn makeup brushes I am going to take the Proceed with Caution Shayla X Colourpop palette and I'm going to take the shade Culture which is this um, beautiful brown sort of apricot color right over here and this is going to be our transition shade and I'm going to pick that up on I believe my Morphe M441 blending brush so I'm just going to pick up that and this is just going to go in our crease as our transition and I really want this to be like really warm all over because it's really going to help all those dark shadows blend and I'm really bringing it out on the outer V area and I'm going like underneath sort of lower lash line area as well because I really want this to be a really nice smoky because when I uh, clean it up after I want it to be really nice like cat eye sort of shape and I'm bringing this all the way from my outer corner to my inner corner so next I'm going in with my Morphe M443 M433 blending brush which is a smaller blending brush and I'm going to pick up the shade maintenance from that same color pop palette it's just this really pretty um, burgundy reddish color and I'm also going in my crease with this and again this is going to going to be our transition color like and I'm going to pick up a little bit of product at a time and just build this color I'm not going to go in with too much product again because when you are doing such a dark and smoky eye you want to build your transition it's really about building all of the colors and you know really taking your time with that and I'm going again all the way in to my inner corner I don't want to just stop halfway because you want this to be really nice and blown out and smoky and then I'm, I'm also going back in with that first brush that I was using with the shade culture with no additional product on it just with whatever's left on the brush and I'm just helping that color blend and then going back in with maintenance and just adding more I'm going to pick up the shade rusted next which is from the James Charles and Morphe palette which is just beside the orangey color and I just I'm going to go over that with that just because I want a little bit more I don't know like warmth than oranges in here and you can see I'm really taking my time blending this out and building this so now that I'm happy with the way my transition looks everything's really nice and blended and kind of blown out I'm gonna just put a base on my eye before I go in with the black eyeshadow and I'm taking the Maybelline eye studio gel eyeliner and this is in the shade blackest black and I'm taking that on my morphe 224 it's just like a flat synthetic brush like this and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that black eyeshadow 
I'm not taking this too high up. I'm just going to keep this just on the lid area. But also before I put black eyeshadow on my lid, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with just a little bit of a darker brown. I'm going to take the shade No Beans, which is this darker brown shade on that same Morphe M433. Is it M433 or M4? Yeah, M433. I'm just going to pick up that shade. And I'm just going to put this right in between that black shade and my transition shade. Now taking another clean Morphe M, this is a M456 blending brush. I'm going in with the James Charles and Morphe palette and I'm picking up the shade Spooky which is this black color right here. And I'm just going to start packing that on my lid. So basically what I'm doing is as I'm packing on the black on my lid, and then once I get like to my crease area, I'm basically just going to put my brush like straight like this. And I'm just lightly in really, really light circular motions. I'm just going like in circles. And I'm just defusing that like harsh line because I don't want it to be like a harsh black line. Right there, I'm sort of blending that black with the no beans in there. So it just defuses it a little bit. I don't want it to be like too harsh. I just want it to be like a really soft, smoky, black smoky eye. So like that. Now you can also, because with hooded eyes, you could just go up. Or if you want, you could sort of take it out and like sort of wing it out a little bit, which I'm going to do. So I'm basically just taking it like outward. And make sure if you're looking at a close-up mirror, you do look like further away as well. And just like keep checking different mirrors to see how it looks or how it's looking. You don't want it to be too harsh or it looks really good up close, but then from far away it doesn't look good, you know? And I always love doing my eyes first. Like I say in all my videos, like I'm a really messy worker and I like being messy because I feel like I can work better, I can create better. And then I always like to clean it up after. And you could use any black of your choice. If you have a black that has like reflex or sparkle or glitter in it, you know, that would also look very, very pretty. I just have like matte blacks and then this palette here has like a black as well or like a really, really dark color. And it has like a copper reflect in it, but that's not the look that I want to go for. I kind of want more of like a matte or like a silver black. I don't have that on me right now, so I'm just going to just go with a plain matte black. And again, if you're not comfortable with doing black or you feel like, okay, this is not for me, you can always do like browns, like dark browns, lighter browns, like just get the technique right first and then work on color. And then going back in with the Morphe M433 blending brush that I was using um, with no beans and all those other colors with no additional product I'm just going back in and just blending this out like so and then I just want to clean up any fallout underneath my eyes and then with this look you don't need liner you could just go put on lashes but you already know me you guys know me I love my black liquid liner so now that I'm done my liner, I'm going to work on my lashes. For lashes, you want something that has like sort of like that flare or that wing at the end. This is really going to accentuate that cat eye shape. So I'm going in with the Sansa Beauty Lashes in the style Double Double. I'm also going to give my lashes a coat of my mascara. This is the Too Faced Waterproof Mascara. So while my lashes are getting tacky, I'm just going in and moisturizing my face. I'm taking my Sephora moisturizer and I'm just going to take this and apply this all over my face. For extra hydration, I'm going in with the watermelon glow recipe, or this is the glow recipe watermelon pink juice moisturizer. So it just looks like this and I'm just going to add that right on top. I'm just going to stick my lashes on. Moving on to face primer, I am taking my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, my all-time favorite. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. And I'm actually not talking too much in this video because you guys, I'm still sick and I'm like stuffy and I don't think you guys want to hear me sniffle and if you guys have not yet tried this primer you guys need to try it it is so good and i love the way my makeup 
just stays all day long. For illuminator today, I am taking this Glam Glow Mega Illuminator Moisturizer and this is a Nude Glow. I love this stuff, you guys. I used to use it so much and then I actually even got the tub of it and I used to go through this so fast. I loved applying this right underneath my foundation or even like mixing it in with your foundation. It just is very, very pretty. So I'm just taking that and just applying it on my face. You guys know how much I love illuminators. So for foundation today, I am taking my Hourglass. This is the Vanished Stick Foundation, again in the shade Sand. And I'm just going to apply this. And I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation um, in the shade Golden Beige. I'm just going to put uh, two pumps of that, or two to three pumps of that on the back of my hand. And just taking my Beauty Blender and blending this together. So now that I have my foundation on for concealer, I am taking my, again, my Born This Way Too Faced Concealer in the shade Light Beige. And I'm going to just highlight underneath my eyes. And I'm also taking my Huda Beauty Tan Tour in the shade Light. And I'm just going to cream contour with this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything out with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye concealer. And again, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Powder for that. And then to set the rest of my face again, I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill Mood Light Powder in the shade Carrot and carrots and then the Huda Beauty banana powder. I just have it mixed in a little container and I'm just going to use that to set the rest of my face. And I've really just been loving this combination to set my face. So I'm going to take the Sigma E15 flat definer brush is just a brush like this and I'm going to pick up the shade rusted from the James Charles palette which is this orangey color here okay so now that I have rusted down on my lid I'm going to pick up the shade maintenance again which is like that burgundy color and I'm just going to take that on my morphe m433 blending brush and I'm just going to smoke this out even more or blend it in. And then going back in with the Sigma E15 and picking up the shade No Beans from the James Charles palette, which is that darker brown that we used. I'm just going to put this as close to my lash line as possible like so and then I'm just lightly dusting the fallout and I'm just going in and pressing my under eye powder now I'm going to go ahead and just powder contour so I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer and I'm picking up my Morphe my clean Morphe M530 it's just my round contour brush So for blush, I am taking my Tarte 12 Hour Amazonian Clay Blush, again in the shade Party. And I'm picking up my Morphe G4 Angled Brush. And I'm just applying this on the apple of my cheeks. Highlight today, I am going in with the Jaclyn Hill Flash Palette again. And I'm picking up my Morphe M510, just my... um like highlighting brush like the big fluffy brush and I'm picking up the shade gleam iced sparks 
And I'm just applying this to the high points of my cheekbones. And I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of her loose highlighter in Balm as well. And just whatever is left in the brush, I'm not picking, I mean in the lid, I'm not picking up too much of this product. And I feel like I just want to go over that just a little bit. Because I haven't used any of her loose highlighters yet, so... It's actually very pretty so it's like that it's like a frosty goldy okay so i'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows off of camera and then we shall be back okay so i'm done filling in my brows i'm just going to give my lower lashes a coat of mascara as well again it's the Too Faced mascara so i'm going to pick up the shade gleam from the jaclyn hill palette and i'm going to just pop that right on the high points of my brow and just blend it down this is just going to add that like extra oomph in your makeup look and you can go in with a matte shadow if you want if you don't want it to be shimmery you know like mine and then with just a clean brush with no additional product i'm just going to sort of go back in and just blend any harsh lines out and then i also do want to throw in like a little pop in my inner corners of this highlight as well so i'm just picking up again gleam and i'm just going to put that right on the inner right in the inner corners of my eyes and you see how that just makes it pop for lips um liquid lipstick and it's suno de coco i think i don't even know how to pronounce it put just a little bit of the anastasia sand and then I think I'm going to put just a tad bit of the Too Faced concealer. And then to finish everything up, I'm going to take my Mario Badescu facial spray and just spritz my whole face with this. So that is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this smoky makeup tutorial. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Again, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you guys never miss another upload. And I shall see you guys all in my next video. Take care. Bye.